The Kermath was an automobile built in Detroit, Michigan by the Kermath Motor Car Company from 1907 to 1908. They built a small four-seater runabout with a teardrop-shaped radiator and bonnet. It was offered with a 26-horsepower, four-cylinder engine with a three-speed transmission and shaft drive. The front axle was tubular. Topic. Kermath family The Kermath car was built by James Kermath, who immigrated to the Detroit area from Toronto, Canada. His great-grandchildren still live in the Detroit area, Joan, Jeff and Linda. Great-great-grandchildren of James Kermath are Jamie Eddy, Max Eddy, Kaylee Kermath, Nicole Kermath, and Sidney Kermath. Other direct descendants in the Detroit area as well as out of state of James Kermath are Lorne R. Kermath III, Hollis L. Kermath Vic, Craig A. Kermath deceased, Cosette J. Rowland Kermath Bulvari, Jeffrey J. Kermath, Virginia B. Nicosi Kermath Morosi, Christian C. Kermath, Brian M. Kermath, Diane A. Vetter Kermath, James C. Kermath Topic. Marine engines. Kermath Marine Engines produced engines from sometime in 1910 until sometime in the 1950s in models from single cylinders to V12s. The Kermath slogan was, A Kermath always runs. Many engines were ahead of their time, with various models having one or more of the following features, overhead camshafts, four valves per cylinder, and dual magnetos. Kermath Marine engines were commonly used by Garwood, Chris Kraft, and Matthews as well as many other boat builders of the period. During World War II the Army Air Corps used the Kermath V-12 550-horsepower Sea Raider to power 104-foot rescue boats out of Sagsted. The Kermath Marine engine is highly collectible today. <laughs> 